hi you guys <laughs> of course we had to have fun this is the last halloween video right so i am super super excited to be here this is the pumpkin decorating challenge i am your host sammy from unicorn dust designs and my co-host today is going to be crafted by corey we wanted to create this challenge because we just wanted you guys to have fun with it we wanted you guys to get creative we wanted this to be a challenge where it you know, newbies that want to start a channel wouldn't feel the pressure of creating all of these different, you know, extravagant DIYs and stuff like that. So I was super, super excited for this video. Um, I went a little ham on this video. I was only planning on doing like four pumpkins. And then I was like, you know what? Fall is winding down. Halloween is winding down. I'm just going to use all the pumpkins I have left in the house and that we got from the pumpkin patch and I am just going to decorate them. So you are guy, you guys are going to get a lot of pumpkin DIYs. These are going to be so fun you guys to do if you have kids or grandkids or you have nieces or nephews or whatever. I had so much fun doing these things with my kids. Um, in this video, I am also linking up with Arteza. They sent me some awesome things for Halloween. So I am looking forward to showing you that as well. I will leave the links for all the Arteza products that I use down below. And um, also I will have a discount code for 10% off, which is Unicorn Dust Designs 1. So definitely check those out. And with that said, let's get into these pumpkin DIYs. Here is our first DIY, you guys. We are gonna decorate these foam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. Um, so I took these, you guys have seen them all over Dollar Tree. They were like yellow and uh, not very cute. So we are going to make them super cute. So I'm taking just a mix of paints here and we are going to paint each of these a, um, an orange color. We're going to also do um, a, we're going to use Arteza's paints as well. So a yellow, a black, and then we are also going to use plaster as well. Um, you can also use the orange foam pumpkins that they carry as well. They also have the smaller versions of these. I was really just trying to use everything that was in my stash. Um, so I'm going to use this foam and that is going to help prop up our pumpkins so that they can dry. And we're also going to use it in our coffee mug that we're going to put them in. Sorry if you hear the dog and the kids moving around upstairs, um, but it is chaos in here. So for this yellow, I actually really like that the little um, uh, spots of black on the pumpkin showed through because we are going to end up decorating all of these pumpkins to give them a little zhuzh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Um, how many of you guys like decorating pumpkins um, during Halloween? And I mean like real pumpkins, like carving and all of that stuff. So of course your girl had to get the dauber out and put polka dots. Now I'm using the Arteza, um, the 3D paints. I love the, the tips on these, they're so fine. Look at how just a little bit like can add so much to a project. So I'm taking this mug. I made this last year with some vinyl and a Dollar Tree mug. And then we are going to get our foam, cut that up to size just so we have something to um, place our little sticks in so that they stay in place and don't move around everywhere. And I am just kind of staggering these so one a little higher one a little lower of course everly has his help and then i gotta move what she just did because that's that's just what happens and then of course your girl couldn't leave her like this so we needed to grab some of that spanish moss i think it's so funny because i went from like never using this because it was so messy to i've been using it a lot lately so this is gonna look so cute you guys i will show you at the end how i displayed it um for a coffee bar adorable all right look at how cute this is this is our sugar skull pumpkin let's get creative so you guys i use the arteza 3d paints now they have glow in the dark 3d fabric paints so that is what i'm using here i'm using this dollar tree sugar skull just as a reference um and i am just 
going with it. I am not an artist by any means. Just have fun with it. Let your kids have fun with it. I'm kind of just using the black to outline like the basic features and then using the glow in the dark paint to outline everything. And you guys, I'm going to show you a video at the very end. These, these are bright. Like I took it into our bedroom to show the kids and it was like lighting up like the area we were in. Like these are really good glow in the dark paints. So there she is. She's looking cute. I mean, I did not do a bad job there. And of course I had to get creepy and like put ICU on the back, but, you know, scare those kids away. And then, uh, of course I gotta be extra and we are going to add some flowers. These are just the roses from the dollar tree that I put on her. And then she is going to be done. You put her outside. The sun charges that the 3d glow in the dark paints and she is going to be looking so cute in the daytime and at night. Look at our little glam pumpkin. So cute. Okay, so parchment paper. So Crafted by Cory uses this all the time and I saw these sheets at the Dollar Tree so I figured, you know what? Your girl should try them. So that's what we're doing here. Usually you guys know I use the puppy pee pee pets, <laughs> but I was trying to class it up here. So I am just using, you guys, I don't even know why I did this stuff. I mean, I guess I, I needed to do it. So this is the, I think this is plaster. And I'm just gonna coat the pumpkin. I actually did two coats, which you did not need, but I ended up taking this pumpkin an entirely different direction than I thought. I thought I was gonna do like the Mod Podge. I was gonna cut up like napkins with roses on them and Mod Podge them on. But for some reason, I wasn't filling it once it was done. So I could have just done with one coat and been good. So this is where it gets dicey and I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing, but I was like, okay, we're gonna do this black and white and Mod Podge at the bottom. Don't know why I did not Mod Podge the entire thing at once. And I guess my thought process was like, hey, like stick it to the tissue paper and then bring it up. I, I don't know, you guys, um, this wasn't, wasn't my best work at all. But you know what? I went with it and I, I finished it and it actually turned out pretty good. So now I'm just bringing this up, almost like wrapping it up like you would a ball <laughs> on Christmas. And I am patting it in so that it gets in all of those grooves. And then I'm going to let this dry because you need to let it dry. If you don't, you're just going to rip your tissue paper. So now that it's dry, I'm coating the entire thing with some Mod Podge over here, making sure that paper is really stuck to our pumpkin. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Don't worry about the very, very top because as you see right here, I cut it out. You guys, my t-shirt is from Moner's Market. I am going to link her Facebook page down below. She made me this and an absolutely wonderful tumbler that you guys will see in a lot of my videos. Um, so now I'm using the drill gun and I am just poking holes everywhere in this pumpkin. No rhyme or reason where the holes are going. I'm just poking them in there. And then you guys, I got these flowers. They come in a huge bundle on clearance at Walmart for $1.50. So I grabbed a bunch of them. So here are our flowers. Of course, I just added one of like the little fairy light packets from um, Dollar Tree inside of it, which I do not show you, but you will see at the end what it looks like. All right. This is fun for the kids. This is a Dollar Tree item. Are you guys ready to decorate? Yeah. Yeah? What do you have over here? Um, a llama, some pink, and two little babies, and one big one. That's a really cool big one. Take your babies off of there. Okay. Let me see that big one. That is such a cool, magical pumpkin. And how about you, Bubba? We have blue and a pink rose, and this is blue. What is that? A shark. Oh, that's awesome. And it's for Halloween. All right, you guys got good pumpkins. Oh, yeah, my pumpkin. Yeah. The pumpkin's big. All right, so we're gonna paint those first, and then we got yeah. these from the Dollar Tree, right? Yeah. yeah. So we got our Dollar Tree little. These are pumpkin decorating kit. Just so you all know, you do have to have um, 
hot glue or some kind of glue to attach the felt pieces and then it comes with the sticker pieces and then we are using our Arteza acrylic paints in Olympic blue and shocking pink so let's get painting you guys all right so let's start you guys so they painted and painted and painted these i even had to get like the apple barrel acrylic paints out because uh, they have kids you know they want to basically drown everything in paint so that's what they did now you guys i have to say that i feel like these would be better for older kids that may be able to use a hot glue gun or something because the only thing that they could actually do were the stickers because I don't think this would hold up with Elmer's glue, um, especially if you were gonna be putting them outside and you definitely have to hot glue like the ears to stay up and everything. So essentially, Everly just got to put on the stickers, which was unfortunate. Everett got to do a little bit more. Sorry you had to see that because I'm awesome. So here is another glam pumpkin, you guys. So funny story, we've been looking at houses found these two on the corn on the curb of one of the houses we were looking at that one you guys the vintage looking one norfolk virginia i was like that is so cool so we're painting the generic one i wasn't about to touch the vintage one and i am using my box because it is super windy outside um right now and um I'm finishing that up with some black paint. We're just outlining the eyes, the mouth. Um, and you guys, you could do this any color. You could have painted this black with some like glow in the dark eyes or I mean, whatever your heart desires. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so then I'm gonna paint the rim and then all I'm gonna do is follow the lines on the jack-o'-lantern and put those in there. And I think this looks super cute. It looks high end. Added some Dollar Tree florals with this, some red and black ones I had left over. And that was so cute, you guys. That cost me like $4 for the flowers and the pumpkin was free. Now next, look at these little adorable things. Aren't they cute? These could actually be like all year long decor. So I'm taking these pumpkins. Keep in mind with these pumpkins, you guys, they are not hollow on the inside like the other styrofoam pumpkins. So I cut a circle around and then I cut an X on top and that way I can get it out like a little easier, but we don't want to take a bunch of the styrofoam out because we're going to stick our succulent in there. So I'm just kind of cleaning that up a little bit. Then we are going to um, paint the pumpkin in cashew and I'm going to do two coats of that so I could get a nice full coverage. And y'all, these are just adorable, absolutely adorable. And like I said in the beginning, um, I kept seeing pumpkins and then wanting to do other things with them. That's why there's so many pumpkin DIYs in this video. Uh, but hopefully they give you some inspiration if you have extra lying around. So taking the Dollar Tree succulent, some Spanish moss, there you go. Then I'm taking another one. I know you guys probably don't need to see another one, but I wanted to. So doing the same thing, but with this one, I'm going to paint it green. And then I was like, dang it, this is looking like a dang bell pepper. So then being inspired from the pumpkin patch we went to, there was tons of pumpkins with like stripes and everything on them. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to add some yellow to this, but you know what? I still feel like it looks like a bell pepper. And then we're going to use some more Spanish moss, put a different color succulent in them. And there you go. I really feel like these could be like all year long in your kitchen, on a tabletop. They just came out so gorgeous and they were so easy to make, you guys. Love them. Here she is. This is our bougie queen. She is fluffy and she is full and we are gonna use a styrofoam pumpkin, some mini mums. At first I tried sticking these in just as is, but they weren't like going all the way in. So I just get something that's pokey, kind of give it like a little start, you know, and they went in like totally fine. Did not use any hot glue on these at all. The pumpkin was soft enough and yeah. And fun fact, since I was doing these on a whim, uh, I definitely didn't have enough flowers. So only the front of this pumpkin is done, 
but uh, you know, just back it up in a, in a shelf and I'll be totally fine. <laughs> so there's that story. Uh, okay, so taking our leaves, I'm just gluing a couple leaves together. I do about like three bundles of these on the top of the pumpkin and then take a branch from the Dollar Tree. These come in huge little bundles and she's done. That's it, you guys. And nobody would ever notice. See, like if you're looking at it the right way, you would never notice the back wasn't done. Look it. Yep. Business in the front, party in the back. You know what I'm saying? Okay, these are definitely probably one of my favorites, our Hocus Pocus pumpkins. So I'm taking three of the ceramic pumpkins. Y'all, it does not matter what the letter is. I just bought them because they were cute. And we are going to leave one orange and then paint the other two um, black. Doesn't matter if you get paint on the stem, you aren't gonna see those anyways. So paint two black or, I mean, use your imagination and paint them whatever color you want. I just chose two black, one orange. Then we're taking these witches hats from the Dollar Tree, some Spanish moss, because I guess I wanna use that a lot in this video. I just think it needed like a little extra on them than just the hats, but if you love the simplicity, just go with the hats. Look at how easy these DIYs are, you guys. Oh my goodness. And this, you guys, I cannot wait to show you the video at the end, how cute these look on the tear tray that I made in one of my tutorials. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. So that's one of Fred. Obviously, she's orange, she has the green on, and then we're going to make Sarah and Maddie. And you guys, these are simple. I just stuck the Spanish moss, hot glued, the hot glue like went through the Spanish moss and stuck so I didn't have to do anything there. And they're done. Like that literally took me five minutes because I used my heat gun to, to dry the pumpkins off, but Look at how cute. And you could put like words on these or letters or I mean, whatever you want. You could judge them up or leave them. And this, you guys, I got this idea from Chic on the Cheap. Of course, she loves Halloween. If you have not watched her, she's amazing. So I'm just taking some old candles, you guys. And I am basically just putting them in hot water. I let them cook on low for like 20 minutes, let them melt. You guys, this project was a hot dang mess for me. I got one of the wicks from one of the candles. That's what was in there. Glued it to the bottom of the jack-o'-lantern. And now I'm just pouring the wax into the jack-o'-lantern. And that is absolutely it. Uh, Chic on the Cheap made it look a lot easier. I was a hot mess. Okay, you guys, this pro, uh, not probably, like this was definitely my favorite. My kids and I had so much fun. These are the Arteza, um, pour acrylics and oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just using a plastic cup. I am pouring whatever colors I want into here. You don't have to do much because there's not a lot of surface you have to cover on this pumpkin. And then I was watching a bunch of tutorials on YouTube and it's called like flip cup. You usually do it on a canvas though. So that's what I did here. And it still looks super cool. Like look at these were you guys if I could recommend anything these were so fun they are a bit pricey but you get so many colors and like this is gonna last us for projects to come and come and come like I just want to use them on everything look at Everett's look at how cool that looks oh my gosh and then of course Everly had to pick teal purple and pink that those are her go-to colors here and you guys, these aren't, they don't have a strong odor. Um, they're safe for the kids to use. They had a blast using them. And I, I think I had even more fun using them. It's just so exciting to see how they come out and how they pour out. So this one I wanted to do for myself. Sorry, Everly's in the frame. Uh, it, they wanted Christmas colors. So this ended up being my favorite pumpkin by far. Like this was so exciting. I was like, are you going to last till Christmas for me? Because look it. And I show you a close up of it at the end, you guys, but oh my gosh, these colors came out so good. And then I didn't like the colors I chose for my first pumpkin, the white pumpkin. 
So I go back in with some cool colors and then zhuzh it up a little bit and eee. Okay, I just wanted to take a minute and show you these because I get to pick out my own products from Arteza and I chose the face painting because I wanted to have fun with my kids. I did not film it because it took me quite a long time, but you guys, these were awesome. They came with stencils and they came with little rub-on tattoos, but these work so great. This is my little man, Everett, and he wanted to be Hulk. So I just looked up Pinterest like inspiration photos and you guys, they had so much fun and they made mm, the mama's heart like swell up because they just kept on saying like, you're so good at this mom. You did such a great job. And they were having just so much fun. Like it, that, that was the best part of the video, um, was doing this with them. So I definitely recommend the face paints by Arteza and look at, we thank you guys so much for watching our videos. We had so much fun, so much fun. If you can't hear it in my voice, like, I'm smiling, I'm having a good time, and that's what it's all about when you're crafting. So you guys, here are the videos that I promised at the end. Look at how cool. Like, you know when you get um, like a new vacuum or something, or this may just be me, but you wanna like go and vacuum every single room with it? That's how it is using these pour paints. Like, I want to put them on everything. I'm like, okay, how's it gonna look on wood? How is it gonna look on a glass mug? Like, I want to use them. Look at how cool Everett's looks. Look at the Christmas one. Look at how cool that is, that green. Oh, your girl is obsessed. Oh my gosh, those came out so good. Okay, here is our little candle jack-o'-lantern. Absolutely adore it. It's kind of cloudy on the face because like I said, this project was a hot mess for me. <laughs> it was everywhere. Okay, so cute, adore it. And this looks so good. So that glass pumpkin behind it, remember you guys, I found that at a garage sale and it was used for my fall decor, but it goes perfectly with this glam pumpkin and our other lighted glam pumpkin as well. Um, look at, ooh, she be cute. And it just goes with those vibrant, of course, Hank had to make an appearance. They just look so cute together. And look at the coffee bar. Look at, I have a tutorial with that wood bead um, garland, you guys, and the Hocus Pocus sign, but and the tear tray. But oh, those turned out so cute. They like, they're everything. They're everything, you guys. I love them. And they took like five minutes to make. And our little pumpkins and our little coffee mug. Here are these. So you guys, these are just so simple. Like everything that I did in this video are very simple and easy to make on your own. I absolutely love you guys. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how um, the Sugar School looks all lit up. I love how vibrant their little pumpkins are. It's so welcoming. And then of course we got our Dollar Tree uh, mats. And look at how cute. Sorry, it's kind of like a hard uh, way to see it, but this looked yeah. so good, you guys. My flower is kind of covering I see you, but I mean, you guys get it. You know what I'm saying? Look at how cute that looks. And you guys, it is so much brighter in person, let me tell you. And then here is our bougie little pumpkin. See, you can't tell I did not do the back of it. Like, I mean, psh. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy this challenge. Make sure to check out the playlist at the end of this video because there are so many other creators out there that do such an amazing job and I would love for you to go check them out. Thank you for joining me. Please make sure to let me know what your favorite pumpkin was and I will see you again on Monday. Have a great weekend.